high top tier. Go away. <laughs> I didn't make this real, I hit the record button. This is new. And this, this, flat top, hi, yeah. Uh, if you figure it out, I'm not filming on this, which is normally what I film on. Um, yeah, I have stickers on my laptop. <laughs> and, if you're smart enough, you know that if I'm not filming on that, I have to be filming on something else. And, if I'm standing, that means I have to have a tripod. Hint, hint, I actually bought a video recorder and a tripod. Kind of cool, right? Like, I'm getting a little bit more professional as the year goes on. <laughs> and this, behind me, is actually a door into the sunroom. I don't know if you saw that or not. It might not be in frame. But it is a door. Right? So, yeah. And then, I have this thing. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it in this video because it is a little loud. It is a sound machine. I showed it to you guys in a couple videos ago, like, back in, like, January. And I've yet to ever use it. So today we're doing one of those personality quizzes. I think I did one of these a couple. I have the hiccups. I get the hiccups whenever I drink root beer. I do not know why. And it's only to root beer. Right? I think. I think the one I did before was what superpower would you have? Right? This one is are you more of a left brain or a right brain person? So, beginning quiz. There are 13 questions. Uh, by the way, I'll leave the link down below. Which class in high school did you excel at in the most? Math, literature, art, music, chemistry. Literature. Choose a drawing. There's a circle. They're all circle shaped, kind of, but one's like squiggly, one's kind of has a bow on it, one of them's like flower, one of them's polka dotted, there's a solid circle. I'm going to go with the solid circle. Uh, which work of art appeals to you? There's a woman stretching in a ballerina, there's black and white, and then there's a splattered. I want to go with the splattered. Close one eye. Now which one did you close? My right. When making an important decision, what do you usually follow? Both. The, the, the options are head or heart. And then there's a both. When I was a kid, did you color the books? And ten When you were a kid, what did your coloring books tend to look like? Okay. The grammar on some of these questions. Um, the middle one, which is everything is rainbowed. Advertisement, too. Yeah. 7 or 13, by the way. How do you feel about rules? Rules can't are absolute necessity of life. Rules are necessary, necessary, but I don't follow them all the time. They're meh. I only follow the rules sometimes. Rules? Who needs rules? Um, I'm going to go to... Choose a, the word your friends would describe you. Creative, intuitive, sensible, controlling, logical, creative. I hope. I hope if you're a friend of mine, like message me, leave a comment down below, and tell me. Yeah, totally. You should do that. True or false? I prize logic above all else. It's true in the matter of you shouldn't make stupid decisions if you know you're gonna end up getting hurt. But if it comes to like writing logic kind of goes out because uh, sometimes I need to throw in that loophole that kind of doesn't make sense right then and there but it'll make sense in the end. So, oh there's a choose both button on there. <laughs> um, do you play an instrument? Yes, more than one actually. Um, what does your email inbox look like? There's like one with a really big number and then there's one with nothing and the one with nothing because my phone doesn't actually have that number. It just notifies me when I get the email. So, my phone flips screen. <laughs> you just want a free vacation. What do you do? Leave instantly, take a day to organize it and plan, and then go. Take a week, take a day. 
Do you believe in physics? Well, yes. Okay. You are 50-50. Logic and analysts analyst, rule your emotional processor, your efficiency strategy, 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 and always in control. When things don't go according to plan, it really show, throws you off, but you are determination to preserve through the life changes and the, okay, do you ever take these quizzes and look at the grammar of some of the questions and like the responses and stuff and you're just like, a sixth grader had to write this. Seriously. Well, that's my quiz for today. I have a whole bunch of more quizzes. I'm thinking I'm making that a series because they're really fun and I like learning about myself because that's, I think people should always be learning about themselves. Yeah, so, I don't know why I picked this up. I have nothing to do with it. I don't know why I got it out of my room. I got this out of my room for no reason. But at least I knew where it was automatically, which shows that my room is coming along. Anyways, this has been Mayhem and High Tops. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. That's really all I have today. Thank you. In my next update video, which I'll probably do on my computer, I will show you the tripod and the camera and talk about them. Yep. I'm growing up as a YouTuber. It's amazing, isn't it?